Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Red Tech Horizons Season 2. Uh, you may notice I am over here mining up or digging up a bunch of sand, and it's actually, I kind of like having this dry biome nearby because I don't have to deal with a whole bunch of water and stuff. And do have to be a little careful with the quicksand. But yeah, look at all this sand. And it's just, it's really easy to get to. So I am just mining this up because I am, I'm working on some of the base and I kind of want to get some glass going. So as I am working on this stuff, we'll just be macerating sand and we will be smelting up the glass or smelting up the sand to get glass i think because i definitely would like definitely would like to get some windows and stuff it'll just make the base look nicer also you can hold shift apparently or sneak and it only does the one block which I didn't realize that was a thing, so thank you for mentioning that. Uh, definitely helps with these 3x3 three three tools. Alright, I don't know how much... Ooh, we are full. Oh, we're full of netherrack, that's right. Alright, so that will at least get that going. I almost ran into that quicksand there. Also, I don't remember how many more of these I need. Actually, do we need, is this one of the ones that we mix for the water ones uh, in case I can't find it? Actually, no, it's not. All right, I actually don't think we need that one. Maybe this one, is it this, leafy garden? Yes, leafy garden. So tropical, leafy, ground, and herb. So I'm just gonna grab these. I don't remember how many I have. Uh, but I would like to complete that quest. All right, there's eight. That's enough. Uh, thankfully, it is easier to find this stuff now. Now that we've been in the world for a while, they have spread on their own. Uh, so it's getting easier to, to find those. I think I got attacked when I was coming out of that mine. I think that's what that was for. Did we need Barry? No, tropical, wasn't it? I I just said what we needed, and I've already forgot. All right, and I'm pretty sure those are all turned in. I think I've turned in everything uh, on the quest for the healing axe. Uh, in case you don't know, this is what I'm talking. Oh, we need leafy gardens there. All right, well, I'll turn those in right now. Uh, we'll go get some more. Yeah, nether garden. And water garden but we can actually craft up the water garden uh, so that isn't as terrible but uh, yeah that okay I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll I'll do that uh, later but um, yeah the nether garden I don't remember ever really finding nether gardens to be honest also I have no idea what what is in the nether garden oh I think we need desert too don't we Bloodleaf, flesh root, and marrow berry. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever used those, or even seen what recipes those things are used in. Yeah, I think we need desert too. Yeah, there's desert garden, and I have not found a desert yet. Um, you no, know, that doesn't look like it. I'm not even really seeing anything other than this dry biome. But I don't think that necessarily means we have desert nearby. I was hoping that maybe we could get some of the water gardens in this big spot. They don't spawn in cold, but I was wondering maybe they spawn there. All right, so... I need to get the glass and then I also am going to work towards getting our first LV turbine or steam turbine. Let me throw that over 
are we there we go yeah so our first basic steam turbine um, and that will slowly let us get some more efficient machines um, i would like to get more solar boilers now i will probably instead of using the silver on the the basic ones i think i probably want to save the silver for this now unfortunately this does require nine plates which is what 15 ores i think or 15 silver ingots so they are more expensive but we do have steel now but uh these just work better oh that's right do these these calcify i totally forgot about that mechanic yeah they calcify over time so they slowly drop in the amount of steam they're producing yeah you can see this is down to 49 because we placed that a long time ago and this is down to 96 i completely forgot about that mechanic actually um, i believe you can just break them and replace them and it'll sort it out ah, i'm trapped uh yeah we'll re redesign this so it's not so like it doesn't block me everywhere i tried to go out that door uh but uh, yeah this was basically just i wanted to get these placed and running all right they're both i was a little worried the water wouldn't go in fast enough but all right we're good yeah and you well it says zero out of, once it starts producing steam it should be back up to 120 um but yeah so this only re this produces 360 per second and only reduces to 120 so it's uh three times three times as efficient as those solar boils but i need silver so either i spend a lot of time mining in the overworld or we get to the twilight forest solar tower I don't think this is worth it if I remember reading. Like, it just doesn't produce enough power. But, eh, could be something you work towards. Okay, so, yeah, I am, like I said, I'm working on kind of like a roof here, but I did kind of want to start getting some of the glass. So, uh, let me start pulverizing some of this. Now, I could do this all manually uh, with mortars. But I kind of just want to have it, as I'm doing other stuff, having this run. Yep, so they're back up to 120 there. Cool. So yeah, this will just run in the background as I am kind of working on our roof here. I would like to get this set up. Oh, I was going to put some glowstone in this as well, I think. All right, let me... Uh, see what i come up with and we'll come back so i am just making my first molds here for the alloy smelter uh, i'm making a block mold which is kind of funny for a first first mold you usually do like an ingot or something like that but i wanted to use this for uh smelting glass because apparently you can do that I think yeah so one glass dust mold block gets us glass and I just realized that may not work in the steam thing oh it does okay but uh, that is gonna use quite a bit of steam yeah so I'll probably stop that and let that run but uh we could throw this in the the smeltery but then we would have to like pour it out into the basin and then ooh, we are really we are we are really going through the steam with these aren't we holy cow uh, i could throw some in there to help out uh, i was kind of Holy cow, am I out of charcoal? I mean, I was throwing it in the 
uh, for, to make steel, but I haven't actually used, uh, I haven't, uh, well, we'll do some more. Yeah, I'm not saving these tiny piles of ash. We never use them. Although I'm like, eh, maybe we will need them for carbon, but I think we're good. All right. So, yep. Uh, I'll throw. I'll just throw a bunch in there uh, to help with the steam. I'm still kind of going a little easy on my charcoal production because uh, I don't have a ton of it. Although we should maybe get the charcoal pile igniter. Because then we would be able to craft charcoal faster, although that is quite manual. Oh, no, I'll think about that. All right, I am converting a whole bunch of my rubber bars into rubber sheets. Unfortunately, it is a two to one ratio. Uh, as you can see, I did get another mold. Um, I have crafted up most, I did a whole stack of glass. Um, so as I was doing that, I uh, filled in that wall and then I am just converting the stuff over. Uh, for the quest that we need. I think that's what I wanted. Yep, there we go. Oh, also, uh, and we noticed that the crafting station now is looking at this inventory instead of that inventory. So that's something I didn't realize was going to happen. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll move that or something or convert it into a work table as well so we'll have like two work tables and then maybe one up here actually does does that ah uh, see now it's yeah so up and down okay i didn't think it would prioritize up and down over left and right but uh apparently that is a thing. All right, so you may notice I also have a chest pattern in there. Uh, I saved that when I was making them. I made a drawer for our netherrack, so I wanted to get that saved because I'm sure we're going to need more drawers. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking we are we are wasting steam at the moment. But oh well. Uh, let me finish. Oh, we got that one. Oh, I'll take that. And throw that in there. All right, so we got our motors, which are the iron rods and that, and then our resistors, coal dust. I don't think I have gotten any coal dust, actually. I'm going to have to go get some because I didn't really find no resistors didn't really find any coal veins until much later all right yeah these need sticky resin or slime uh but uh yeah that is one of the reasons i wanted to get the all our rubber trees up and working so i could farm the sticky resin for the pulp and the sticky resin that we are going to need i think we need it for the the whatchamacallits as well the uh, the boards the circuit boards i think these need yeah these need sticky resin as well so we're gonna need a bunch of this but yeah i think i i had a sapling here and it wasn't growing and i think it was actually because i put the roof on so it was blocked from growing so i just i ended up breaking it down we have eight eight of these so we should be should be okay for a while i just need to kind of keep up on top of it and keep harvesting it when they they grow back all right uh yeah i'm gonna have to go get um i'm gonna have to go get some coal which is a bit of a pain just because my bags are of these things actually these are probably gonna go 
probably go in there and then I will save some of the recipes for this. I really want wire mill and bending machine are probably going to be, I don't know why I put that in there, are probably going to be my first multi or first LV machines. Tiny coal engine. Steve's carts. It'd be cool to set up a farm of some sort. Uh, I haven't done Steve's carts in many, many years. So that would be kind of cool. Okay, uh, I got to go get more coil. Coal. Not coil. Uh, we did find one somewhere. And in case you don't know, you can actually do that. Yeah, I don't want the diamond. Yeah, coal down here. All right, so, oh, you can mark depleted with delete. That's kind of cool, so you can remove it from the thing. I didn't realize that was, that was a thing. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I'll go get more, I'll get coal, because we're going to need it for these resistor things. Okay, kind of forgot how uh, manually intensive these early gain crafts were. But uh, yeah, just chugging along here that which way do i is that that's locked behind that one that makes me sad all right well i've gotten some of the molds as we can see but uh we're gonna need some more apparently uh so need four so that is 16 of that and then we need I think I have enough aluminum brass in here. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. Get that going in there. Whoa. Not that. Probably need more lava on there. I'm getting a little low. All right. So, yeah, I'll make the molds. And then what is this? Pumping water. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Except we're kind of not on the ground. Although our water tanks are working pretty well for us, to be honest. Uh, we um, are in a 100% humidity biome, so it's, it's actually not not too terrible. I don't know the how much they actually produce. I mean, it's not 150 per second, but actually pretty good. All right, well, we'll do that, and then I got to do the rods, which I was like, there we go. That's the recipe I was looking for. I'm like, how is that not a recipe now? Uh, we have gone ahead. Have I mined up? Did I mine up redstone? Yeah, we must have. I only have five, though. Oh, that's right. We were doing it, and then I was doing. I was having to hammer it manually because we didn't have a mace raider. But now we have a mace raider. All right. No. Oh, I don't know. Did I show that? I kind of showed that. Although it does look kind of boxy still. Uh, I do plan on kind of having like an angled up roof, but I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool. I could probably do more blocks on the edges so it doesn't look so square and then probably maybe like an overhang kind of thing maybe still working on it but i do like the pane glass i think that looks better it kind of gives it a little bit more texture i like the ceiling too I like how you can kind of see the logs all right anyway let me uh, continue crafting this stuff up okay there we go. There are two vacuum tubes. Need the circuit boards. I didn't actually realize there is there is a one recipe. It's exact same resources, but it just one or three. I didn't realize there was a other recipe. I always thought this was the only one. But uh, well, yeah, we'll just start off small. I'm not going to put that one in there. It's easy enough. Uh, we need copper wires, man. These things are so resource intensive. 
Because you got to do the plates and then you have to use the wire cutter to cut the plates. I do have extra copper wire. Uh, I think that is for that maybe. There's a red alloy cable. I don't know. I just did the quest and it was this quest, I think. Yeah. 24 wires and... Unless I just screwed up how much... Well, it did say 24. Also, these... These wire cutters are kind of annoying. Alright. Go. One circuit board. <laughs> and then... The electronic circuit. Oh, I didn't get the steel casing, but we do have the things over here, and I think it's three to two is the ratio. I want to say we are getting short on. Oh, it's two. The two to one. I know it's not great. Also, I have a recipe for cactus coke or whatever it's called, so I am doing that. All right, and we got our redstone over here. Two ingots to three casings. It's actually better than I remembered it being. All right, there, there, there. All right, there we go. Our first circuit of millions. All right, I will probably, I'll mass produce these, but I want to get some of these uh, down to a better better process. Uh, like, I want to get a wire mill so we get two wires per ingot as opposed to doing three ingots down to two plates and those give two wires, so. It is quite a bit of an improvement uh, and probably one of those. That'll probably be like one of our first, first multi, or not multi-blocks. I'm so used to saying multi-blocks, but uh, we're a long way off multi-blocks, aren't we? All right, so that opened that up and then, yeah. So we need the redstone and the iron. Man, that is really annoying that that it doesn't it switched to the work table. I'll have to move those. I just didn't usually I put them in like the floor, but I kind of just didn't want the floor to show. Although I could add another kind of layer so I have a bit of a a basement. Just so I don't know. I didn't want to like when you come in the base and look up, you just see like the bottoms of blocks. And pipes and stuff. I just kind of wanted to do something different. All right. So it was that, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't remember how many it wants to. You know, we'll just, while we're here, I have the redstone, might as well. Yeah. And then the polarizer is also really good because that cuts out, that cuts out redstone entirely. And the polarizer is actually really cheap because uh, it doesn't require any. It doesn't require any of the motors or any of these components. All right. Well, yeah, maybe I should have. No, I did just craft them up, didn't I? Yeah, I have some extra. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let me finish this and then. Bronze fluid pipes we have, tin cables we have. Uh, tin rotors at this point are also very annoying. Okay, I think I've got everything for the steam turbine. Uh, forgot about the wrought iron that I need. And in case you don't know, you have to smelt uh, iron nuggets. So you can either get that from uh, macerating iron ore and then smelting that, uh, smelting the crushed iron. Uh, you will get 10 nuggets, so you can do that. Or you can just take the ingots and convert them at the nugget 
mold in here and then turn it into turn the nuggets into uh, the wrought iron once you smelt the nuggets it's a bit of a pain until you get the arc furnace but uh yeah i think we're good now i think i will probably do i don't want to like take up all the the things but we're just we're gonna need so many of these so i'm kind of like maybe we should just lock those in there maybe i should put the chest in a different one do all these as kind of like the lv machines all right we do have two of these rotors i made a recipe for that because that is annoying uh oh no that is oh it wants me to craft them no that makes me sad we are going to use them again but i just don't particularly want to all right we'll do it it's not they're not horrible to be honest it's just a bunch of tin so i need four for the two screws and the two rings and then i need eight plates for the actual thing so there is that Let me rest because we don't want our steam to drop. All right, I think that's everything. Oh, shoot. I ran out of room for my... I ran out of room for the the items that we need. The, the file, hammer, screwdriver. There we go. All right, I'm like, that... Better work because I'll be kind of annoyed. All right. Um, also, we need the motors. You do that. One, two. Did we just use steel? Did, did I have steel rods in there? I don't remember. But uh, all right. I think that ooh, I need the bronze and. That should be that done. So we'll switch that to that. And then bronze fluid pipes. No, I just got to do that. So we need six plates. We get get two from each. That's eight. There we go. Nine. Math is hard. Three to two. That ratio just like really messes me up. But, uh, okay, so that is going to be the steam turbine. Now, I do eventually want, like, a ton of boilers, and I want to, like, have a bunch of the LV steam turbines. I don't really want to rely on batteries as much. We'll probably have some every... But I'm thinking maybe more as backups in the thing as opposed to, like, really depending on the batteries because it does kind of uh it lets you get around uh producing a bunch of power when you can just like bank it and i like playing like that but did i use my hammer i think i used the last hammer in that yeah so batteries kind of let you get around with not having to produce enough power so i kind of want to go a different route this time but uh yeah we'll see all right, so there we go. There is our first turbine. Do we get a, I was kind of hoping we'd get a, a thing for it. A trophy. Did we not get a trophy for that? I thought we would have gotten a trophy for our first steam turbine. Maybe I was mistaken. Yes, basic steam turbine. I really thought we would have got that. Uh, maybe it's just hiding somewhere, but uh, Oh, you know what it probably is? I bet you it's this. Let's place it down. Let's break it. There we go. There is our basic turbine. Oop. So there we go. We got our, our three trophies so far. We are making slow but steady progress. I mean, I worked quite a bit on uh, getting the base up. That's going to take a while to get all of the glass for 
that huge window up the top. But uh, yeah, I am um, having like a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it is looking pretty cool. I'm going to have to sort out where I want to put this. I may wait until I get a couple of the machines like the polarizer and the plate bender just because uh, I don't want to like, spend a whole bunch of resources making uh, boilers when we're going to get some more efficient recipes like really, really soon. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to think about that. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.